Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Praise to the most high. Doing well. How you doing? How's the family? Oh, say it again. I ain't hear you. I doing just well. How's the family? Shabbat shalom. All praise to the most high. Yahuwah, everyone. We got Serge back with us. Yeah. Had safe travels. Thank you, the most high. Oh, yeah. All praise to the most high. Yahuwah for that.
been so good to me. Been my father, been my mother. And I won't take it back. He's been my sister and my brother. And I won't take it back. He's been my all, all in all. And I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. So, so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. He's so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. He has been so good to me. Hallelujah.
Gracious Heavenly Father, you will hear our prayer. Definitely not that you'll turn our face away from us. But have mercy on our soul. Forgive us all sins and our righteousness. Forgive us the sins of our ancestors. And remove that that is not right in us. And still in us the right thing. Still in us a clean, hard, and renewal right spirit. Make us to be one with you and help us to guard your law, statute, judgment, and commandment. Give us the strength and patience to endure. Keep us on the straight and narrow path and not letting us be toward to the left or right. And remove that that is not right in us and still in us the right thing. Still in us a clean, hard, and renewal right spirit. Keep us, save us, and deliver us, Abi Hood. Continue to give us the strength and patience to endure. Abi Hood, we ask that you would heal those that are sick and ill, spiritually, physically, mentally, from the sole of their feet to the crown of their head. We ask that you will comfort those that are mourning the death of a loved one, soothe their pain and hurt and fill in the void in their life. Father, you will awaken your people out there sleeping slumber. Stir them up and instill in them a repent of heart. Remove the scales off their eyes that they can see, unclog their ears that they can hear, and touch their mind where they can comprehend. Help us to be a light unto others. And let us not fail you, Abu Yahuwah, but help us to comfort one another. Abu Yahuwah, we pray that because you will continue to encamp your Malachim around us, build up the hedge around us, protect us from the wicked spirit, the wicked one himself, and all enemies. And those that plot and plan wickedness against us, let it be returned back unto them, Abu Yahuwah. And we'll be so careful to continue to give you the praise and esteem. This we ask in Yahushua's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. How I love 
Again, Shabbat Shalom. All right, continuing with our lesson, Spiritism. We're going um, for those that have the lesson at number three. It says, The dead are unable to communicate with the living and are, in fact, asleep in their grave, awaiting the resurrection, which you see in lesson 16. The, the beings who speak in the in the seance, in the seance, seance are therefore not the dead, but are evil spirits or evil angels, malach, posing <clears throat> as departed loved ones. The dead, according to scriptures, are asleep in their grave and are unable to communicate with the living. So that would people need to, you know. When people, you know, they say, oh, I spoke to my mom, I spoke to my dad, I spoke to my daughter, this and that. The spirit's messing with your head. You spoke to somebody, but it wasn't them. It wasn't your loved one who you thought you you spoke to. And that's how these spirits, that's how these spirits um, de de deal with you and stuff. Just like it dealt with um, Saul, with Shaul, when he was, um, when he snuck off and, go to, and went to the, um, the little witch lady and stuff. And he knew that was a no-no. All right. So what you say, sis? I didn't hear what you say, um, Shabbat. I'm mean, a Shabbat. Yeah, I said the witch of Endor. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's so funny when you when you think about it. How yeah, <clears throat> it was a, he put a decree out. Excuse me to um, kill them and stuff. But yet, because he done fell out from Yahuwah, he, he, had no, he had no other choice but to go. Now he going to some, some other person, some other being with you know abilities or gifts to go to them since he done fell out with Yahuwah and stuff. And that's why he the, the he sky. A he, he put in a desperate move now. So why? Now. So that's why he disguised himself because he already knew if they seen him coming, they would have ran. So we, so we go. So we going to um. Io, Job, seventh chapter. Seven. Seven. All right. <clears throat> oh, you there? Oh, you're looking for it. All right. I owe Job, the seventh chapter, and verse. Verse 9 and 10. It says, as the cloud is consumed and vanish away, so he that goes down into Sheol shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him anymore. Mm -hmm. 
So she old. As she said, as Kathy y'all say, um, is the grave. So we see in the scriptures what it said. You go down and you don't come up no more. It says you what? You share what? Return no more to your house. You need to share his place, know him. <laughs> you don't return to your house and your house don't know you no more. Until that day. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, sorry, I have also another scripture. Um, I don't know how to say it, and also that Ecclesiastes, I think. Yeah, we're going there next. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, yeah, we're going there next to that one. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, so stay. So, so, just stay right there. So, we're going to Ecclesiastes, um, chapter nine. That's so Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. It says, for oh, I'm sorry, I thought, sorry, I thought verse 5 I have here. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and read verse 5, what you have wanted to say. Okay, I see that that is something. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, for the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, and even the memory of them is forgotten. Mm. Their love, their need, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that happens under the sun. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And verse 10 says, Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. A new friend is as new wine. When it wait a minute. Oh, sorry, the wrong one. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think it was supposed to be. Hey. No, number ten says whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your mind. Oh, my bad. I'm in the. <laughs> I'm in the. Oh, I'm in, you know what? I'm in the wrong Ecclesiastes. Sorry, let me go back. <laughs> I'm in Sarah Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Sorry about that, family. I was in the wrong, I was in Sarah Ecclesiastes. Still a cool healing. <laughs> Here we go. It says, Whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in Sheol, whether you go. Whether you go. So all you do is do it with your might. Go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. You gotta speak up, but they can hear you. <laughs> you know, my times, when I was sister, and when I was elders, when they meet, uh -huh. let's say festivals and other festival occasions, they, they used to um, call a vision. Yeah. They said they are calling for my sister to remember them, to mm -hmm. pray for them, to ask. Tell the ancestors to pray for them. Mm -hmm. Right. So now I, I, was, I, was, I, I was asking myself, how can. Now, how can a dad ask forgiveness for a living? <laughs> there you go. And that's true. And they, they can't. And you're reading the word. That's, see, this is the misconception people get caught. That's why they say, that's why the word is talking about, you know, the tradition of men. 
You know, that's their problem. They got to get out of the tradition of men, get in the tradition of what the Most High have set apart for us and stuff. But the dead, like the scripture let us know, the dead don't know what we doing, we don't know what the dead doing, but it let us know, hey, they ain't woke. And what can something dead do for you? They can't do nothing for you. If they ain't do nothing for you while you was alive, they sure can't do nothing for you while you, um, why they dead. <laughs> When you ask them, they say, we, 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 but one of the great ancestors dead, and I tell him, he dead. Here, mortars and traps, I forgot after funeral, they would go and call the, the Call them ancestors. The, the, yes. But yet, they, they don't realize that's the spirits, the wicked right. spirits yes, uh, that they're talking to. The, um, the crew of Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they would go and call the spirits of the dead person to ask him, why he dead and stuff. And then the dead person will come and talk, oh, maybe I eat this food and this food killed me, so this food is not good for the family, for the whole tribe. Mm -hmm. So the whole tribe will not eat that food or mm -hmm. that meat. Mm -hmm. See, they talking to those wicked spirits and stuff, the angels, the Malakim and stuff, and don't even realize who they talking to. They think, you know, that's how they do it. That's how they trick you and stuff. And the animals come right there and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> see, the animals come right there and eat it. The food be gone. And they, and they trick their own self. Say, oh, see, our ancestors came and ate the food. No. Ancestors ain't ate the food. Them animals ate the food. Y'all got to stop that foolishness. Mm -hmm. Because if it was that good, you wouldn't be in the condition that you're in right now. If it was that powerful, slavery wouldn't have never happened. So all this praying to the ancestors and this and that, y'all need to stop the foolishness. And you pray to the mighty one, not to a tree, not to a statue, not to a pole. Come on, let's get it real now. If that was that so, so in other words, so what you telling the rest of the world that you serve a weak God, you got weak ancestors. If they can't protect you and do what need to be did, but because of disobedience, that's why everything happened. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. Come on, people, it's time to wake up and stop the foolishness. It haven't worked yet, so let's get back in the order. That's why he tell you to incline in the old pathway, and when you find it, walk there in. I don't care what your tradition is, the word he must tell you, hey, we gotta get rid of the tradition of man and grab hold of what Yahuwah will have us to do. Because when you think, as long as Israel was doing and being obedient, nothing couldn't stop them, nobody could come against them, and whoever tried failed. Think about it, y'all. That's your food for thought. Okay, we're going to go to First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Yeah. When they come back, that figure of food is gone. She's quick, she's going to make the food. And that's when that spirit really starts moving on them and start looking for them. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Maybe come back into that food form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I said. That's why I said. It's the animals that eat the food. It ain't that, it ain't that dead person that eat it. Yep. But it's sad. Yeah, first, first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, 15 through the 17th verse. Everybody there? Right. It says, and this we say to you, 
by the word of our master Yahushua that we who may serve and uh, serve survive and be alive and be alive at the coming of our master Yahushua will not precede them who have slept because our master Yahushua will himself descend from the Shamayim, from the heaven, with a mandate and with the voice of a chief messenger, and with and with the karma of Elohim, the karma of Elohim, and the dead who are in Mashiach will first arise. And them, we who survive and are alive will be caught up together with them to the cloud to meet our master in the air. Who so will we? And so will we be ever with our master. So it's an order of things. He must say, hey, he ain't gonna, he's not going to, um, let me go back up to uh, 15. He said, will not perceive them who have slept. So we ain't gonna go before them who have slept. But yet they'll be caught up first. And then we'll be caught up with them. So we see that it's an order of things. And he letting you know, hey, this is when they gonna this is when they're gonna be back. This is when they're gonna get up. This is when they're gonna be back alive and stuff. When the power of the most high. When he come back, when, he, when Yahushua, he sent his son Yahushua. So before that, all the stuff people doing now, hey, they talking to them wicked spirits, them fallen angels, them fallen Malachim. You know, we, we want to make everybody feel good. We want to give them these fairy tale stories. Oh, they in heaven, they looking down. Why they not? Why they not in hell looking up? Why everybody looking down, but nobody looking up? <laughs> See, so we got to be truthful. And stop giving and stop telling these children these fairy tale stories and stuff. That's right. Not us, but the shot number one, it wasn't made for us anyway. The shaman was never made for us. He gave us our place where we gonna be at. He said, well, a new heaven and a new earth came down. Just like now. Here, where we at? We on earth. And the other beings are in heaven. The Malachim, the angels, as they were called. All right, number four. We're going to go down to our next part. Number four. Evil spirits in virality rely on miracles and supernatural demonstration to carry through their deceptions. See, they're going to give you right what you want. They won't give you that, just like these preachers today give you that feel good message where these um, fallen angels don't give you right what you want. They're going to they gonna put some miracles and supernatural, su supernatural demonstration before you to grab you in. It says, Yahushua, Warned that this world will be the case, that this would be the case in the last days, how true his word have proved to be. Miracle workers are to be found in all the world's religion. Thank you, Lord, that we don't have a religion, but we got a culture and we got a way of life. It says there is no shortage of them, but a miracle is not a reliable sign of truth. See, that's the key thing. A miracle is not a reliable sign of truth. See, and that's what people get, caught, people get caught up in when they see the miracles happening. Oh, that must be the most high. He got to be in that and this and that. No, 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 no. What did it tell you? It said, hell yeah, what they call Satan the devil, was what? He was, he's a what? He, he's an angel, he was an angel of light. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
See, he know he he knows all the tricks and trades. It says the only reliable. It says the only reliable sign of truth is Isaiah Yashiyahu eight twenty to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Simple as that. So if some people sound like they're talking sideways, then they're talking sideways. That's why he tells us right here in Yahshua 8.20, to the law. Not to nothing else, but to the law and to the testimony. But but Christianity, but Christianity say the law is done away with. So they're already right there going to kill a lot of people, going to knock a lot of people off because they ain't got no law to stand by. They ain't got no testimony to stand by because they've been taught that it's done away with. But yet the words say to the to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And this right here is going to hurt a lot of people. This is why people call in a lot of mess today. And they come from being lazy. But he said he hates a slewful person. So that's why the word he must tell us. It says what? Study to what? Show your own self approved. No matter how many teachers, how many more raised pastors, evangelists, and this and that. He still says study to show your own self approved. Because if you ain't going to study and you ain't going to read, they could be telling you anything. They could be lying, tricking you, and all that. All right, let's go to the next one. It says, in the in other words, if a preacher, evangelist, moray, any kind of teacher, message is not in line with Yahuwah's law, with Yahuwah's law, and if it con contradicts the testimony and teaching of the set apart scriptures, then that preacher, that teacher, that minister, that evangelist, that moray must not be taken seriously. No matter how many miracles he or she is able to perform and no matter how charming an individual may happen to be, you know, they come with their beautiful, beautiful words and memorize the people and they fall out and shouting and talking to that and talking to that demonic um, language and stuff, what they call a tongue. Say, don't go for it. Let's go to Matet, Matet, Matet Yahoo. Let's go to Matet Yahoo. Ain't sweet. That's right. You know they got. You know they got that artificial um flavor, sweetening. Don't give me fake sugar. Give me the real sugar. So we go to um, Matthew 24, 24. All right, so we have Matthew 24, 24, and we'll do 25. 24 verse, say, for false messiahs and lying prophets will arise and they will produce signs and great wonders in order to deceive, if possible, even the chosen. So it's already letting us know that they're gonna arise. You're gonna have these people and they're gonna do these wonderful works and stuff. Because they got people, you got people out there with itching ears. They always looking for the next new thing. But you wouldn't tell us to look for a new thing. He said inclined in the old thing, in the old pathway. <laughs> but even back then, they said we not gonna do it. Just like they saying today, we not gonna do it. So we already know what's gonna happen to those that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> it says in the twenty fifth verse, "Behold, I have told you beforehand." So he already given us the warning. He already letting us know what to look forward to. You know, these things gonna happen. So we shouldn't be cut off God. The only people that's gonna get cut off God 
Those that's not um, um studying to show they self approval. Them the ones that's gonna get caught off guard. Them gonna them the ones gonna fall for the hokey dope. To study the word. The word or to learn the two of the commandment. They are going for wonders and signs. Pastors will be reports nowadays. People need their 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 pastor to prophesy on them, to prophesy on their family, their future, their work, everything. They don't want they don't want to hear the the word of the whole side. That's right. They are going for the wonders and signs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's what they're going for. He said they're going for the wonders and signs for the church. And that's what the pastor is giving them. Miracles and fake miracles. And, you know, wonders and fake wonders and stuff. And people falling for it because that's what they want. They want Everybody want to be comfort. They, like I said, they still want to stay on that spiritual titty when it's time to get off that milk and get that meat. But they don't want to go. They want to stay comforted and stuff. And, it, and, and, the, and the sad people think that Yahuwah is, is all Yahuwah when they get blessed they 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 be figuring that oh I must be doing all right I'm doing good I'm getting blessed no 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 he said he reigned on the just as well as the unjust and stuff so that don't mean nothing because you're getting you know material things and stuff you know what type of life you living you know what type of life you're not living and stuff so why would you think you got it made in the shade and stuff so these are the things that you know how the spirit work on people and stuff and people don't understand you don't know you can't battle a spirit if you don't know the word because he say try the spirit by the word not try the spirit by the spirit because when you do that he'll tell you one thing in one ear and the spirit will go around to the other end and whisper that same thing and you'll be saying oh yeah the spirit told me but they had nothing to do with you and it had nothing to do with his ruach and stuff So we're going to go to Gilyana, Revelation, the 16th chapter. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking down. Yeah, okay, sorry about that, family. And Mark, 13th 13, 13 chapter, y'all, Mark. Thank you all for catching that. <laughs> Thank you for catching that. Mm. All right. Mark 13, chapter. Yeah, Mark 13, 21. Mark 13, 21 and 22. Yeah, all right, verse 21. If at that time a man should say to you, Behold, here is the Mashiach, or behold, there he is, do not believe him. For false messiah and lying prophets will give will give signs and wonders. Now he said they going they false, but they're gonna be able to give them signs and wonders. And will deceive and will even deceive the elect if it is possible. See? So with the difference between the elect and those that um, uh, that think they're elect is that you got one that's studying to show they self-approved and you got the other one that's not. 
It's almost like the um, the virgins, the ten virgins. Five was wise, five was silly. And that's how you got people in this walk. You got those that are wise and you got those that are silly. You got those that got that, that, that lamp full and you got those that half stepping. So give people a chance that serving him, those that sincerely serve him, he have shortened the days to make sure they survive, make sure they pass the test, make sure they will be able to endure, to overcome. So that's that's a mighty one. That's a fa father that looks out for his children. So he said he, he would that no one perish. All right, let's go to 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So we're gonna um, we're gonna start it from the seventh verse. We're gonna read from seven to ten. Seven to ten. It says, "For the mystery, the mystery, y'all, check it out now. For the mystery of the evil one, already, already begins." To be operative. And only if that which now hinders will be taken from the midst. Then at length will that evil one be revealed, whom our master Yahushua will consume by the breath of his mouth, and will bring to nothing by the visibility of his coming. For the coming of that evil one is the working of hell, or Satan as some call, will with all power and sign and lying wonders. Now I say they're going to do signs and they're going to do wonders, but it's all fake. Verse 10. And with all the deceptiveness of iniquity in them that perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth by which they might have life. You hear it? They did not receive the love of the truth. Truth is love. Truth is love. Mm -hmm. They did not receive it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. people. You know, you try to give people truth, but they don't want truth. They won't have truth and have lies. Mm -hmm. They won't have truth and have lies. So we see it says what 
because they, those that are going to be deceived through the deceptiveness, because they did not receive the love of the truth by which they might have life. See that? They didn't receive it. They didn't want it. He already tell her, you reject him, he's going to reject you. You got to take it. What? It says, therefore, verse 11, therefore, Elohim will send upon them the strength of a deception that they may believe a lie. So in other words, you are saying, if that's the way you want to be, you want to accept that, you want, you want this. Because even in the um, Tanakh, they told him, hey, prophesize us lies. Don't tell us the truth. This is what the people were telling them. They ain't want the, the truth. They ain't want it. And that's what they're saying. That's why he's saying what he's saying now. They did not want the truth. They told the prophets to prophesy lies to them. They, why you want somebody to lie to you? Why you want somebody to deceive you? That's sickness. Something, something really wrong in the head. You got a mental issue. Go ahead. Hold up, uh, hold up. Go ahead. Because they trust them so much. Oh, that's the man of G.O.D. That's the man of G. Oh, if something happens to go wrong, it's going to be on him. No, it's going to be on you too. Because he said the blind lead the blind, they all fall in the ditch. He, he, you know, so he, he ain't say the one that's leading the blind fall in the ditch by himself. He said they all fall in the ditch. Because there's no excuse. Okay, someone said read, because y'all said read 12. The 12th verse said, Okay. It says, and they that and that they all may be condemned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in iniquity. Who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in iniquity. And that's what it's all about. Everybody wanna feel good. Hey, someday you don't have those feel good days and stuff, but so, People just don't, I mean, nobody wants it. We don't want it. Nobody don't like to feel pain. Nobody don't like to go through misery. Nobody don't like to, you know, suffer. They want everything to be sweet with no bitterness and stuff. And they definitely can't say they a bed of roses because roses got thorns on it. <laughs> so, hey, that's, that's life right there. So, so you can't say a bed of roses and stuff. And, and live according to my word. This is what's going to. This is what we're going to go through: trial, tribulation, and long suffering. I'd rather go through it with him than without. Oh yeah, definitely. So we're gonna go to um Guyana, Revelation, verse sixteen. I mean chapter sixteen. Chapter 16, verse 13 and 14, verse. It's the last book in the scriptures, close to the end. It says, 
surgery is the last book to the end almost. Chapter 16. No, keep going. No, the other way. All right. Chapter 16, verse 13 and 14. And I saw pursuing from the mouth of the dragon and from the mouth of the beast of prey and from the mouth of the false prophet three unclean spirits like frogs like frogs for they are the spirits of demons who work what signs and they go forth to all the kings of all the inhabitable world together to gather them to the battle of the great day of Elohim Almighty. Mm. See that? That's why I tell you we fight against what? Not against flesh and blood, but against principality, wickedness, and where? Low places. I guess nobody caught that one. It's supposed to be high places. Nobody caught on to that. He said high places. <laughs> the spiritual wickedness and high places. Mm -hmm. So I show you right there what we battling against. What about um, Zechariah 15? Is that the same verses 2 and 3? Mm -hmm. Don't know, read. No. Zechariah 14, it says, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem into battle, and the city will be taken, and the houses rattled. And the women ravished, and half of the city will go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people will not be cut off from the city. Then will the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. Father, that mm -hmm. happened. So our next one, we stay in Revelation and we go to chapter 20. No, I mean chapter 19, verse 20. I, I flipped it, yeah. Chapter 19, verse 20. Mm -hmm. All right. So verse 20. It says, and the beast of prey was captured, and the false prophet that was with him, who did those prodigies before him, whereby he seduced them who had received the mark of the beast. He seduced them of prey, and who worshiped his image. And they were both cast what? Alive, not dead, cast alive into the lake of fire, which burns with, with sulfur. Mm. That ain't no joke. Mm. And when you look it up and you can see what sulfur is, it was cast alive. Cast alive. So when you think about it, that's that's your sinful life that's that's attacking you in that in that fire, that burning, that sofa and stuff, and letting you see <laughs> what, what what it really feels, you know, that stench. That stinkness that used to come up in your whole nose because of sin. Sin got a stench to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the only way you clean it is through that fire. <laughs> Oh yeah. So we're gonna go down to number seven, our last one for the day. It says, "Evil spirits are not slow to acknowledge that Yahushua Hamashiach is the set apart one of Yahuwah." Yahukanan, Musha, uh, Mark three eleven. 
Yeah, Mark 311. Says, and those who had infirmities of unclean spirits, when they saw him, were falling and crying out and saying, You are the son of Elohim. See them? They knew who Yahushua was. They, 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 they shook. They shook because what it said they did, he said, When they saw him, well, they were doing what? They were falling and crying out and saying, you are the son. They got scared, boy. They said, oh, you. See, they, they recognize, as we say, like the word we always say, what we say, real, recognize real. <laughs> and, and they recognized the realness when he walked up in them. Mm -hmm. They cried out. They were, fall, they were falling and crying. Right, see, and, and it just goes back to let you know these spirits know who is who. So you can't come in there flodging and faking, trying to um, be like like you you the thing and stuff, and you can do whatever. Because you remember what happened to the guy that tried to call himself coming up there to cast out demons. And when them spirits told him, say, Peter, I know, Paul, I know, but who is you? Jump right on him. He, they beat his butt, made him come out of his clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah. So you come in there, half stepping and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna go to Luke, Luca, the fourth chapter. Luca, the fourth chapter. Luca. Luca, fourth chapter, starting at the thirty-third verse. Thirty-three to thirty-five, and it says, "And and in the assembly there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice and said, Leave me alone! What have we to do with each other, Yahusha of Nazareth?" Have you come to destroy us? See, that's why I say real recognize real. They recognize who, who, who he was. And they'll recognize anybody that got that Ruach in them. He says, I know, he said, the, the spirit said, I know who you are. You are the set apart one of Elohim. And Yahushua should rebuke him and said, shut your mouth. Hey, see, see when you when you got it like that, you could do that. He said, shut your mouth. He said, shut your mouth and come out from him. And the demon threw and the thing and the demon threw him down in the midst and departed from him. 
though he did not harm him at all. I'm going to read um, 36. Check it out in 36. But see, that's why you can't play. You can't be coming at halftime like I told you before what happened with the um with the other guy. I thought he could cast demons out and this and that. Thought it was a, thought it was a show. Thought he had it like that. But we seen otherwise. He ain't had no power. In 36 verse, it says, In a great amazement seized every man, and they were speaking with one another and saying, what indeed is this message that with authority and power he commands to unclean spirits and they depart? Hey, it was a, they was amazed. They were like, man, what's really going on? This man got some power here. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, but the thing is, you see how Yahuwah went up in, I mean, like, Yahushua went up there. He went up in that gangster. I was just going to say that. He went up in that gangster saying shit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He went up in that gangster saying shit. He went up in that gangster saying And that's what he did. He went up in there, like like I did, like I went up in the in the um in the sanctuary in the temple, um, and whipped them jokers up out of there with that cane, with the cane in them. Hey, he, <laughs> same way right here. How he just told that demon, "Hey, shut your mouth," you know, with authority and stuff. You know, how, you know how you can tell people to shut up and stuff. Hey, you know how people are telling you, "Hey, don't tell me to shut up." Hey, that demon ain't do nothing but what he told him to do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He told him, "Shut his mouth." He probably told him some extra stuff, you know. I, I think they did. I thought I, I, I really think he told him probably shut his damn mouth. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. So you know you got to take it to the next level when you mess up when you talking to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he got him. He got him right. Mm -hmm. So you on you got to have the power. So you got to be filled with the spirit and with that power to be able to walk up in there, you know, like that to be able to do these things and stuff. All right, we're going to go to to um, Manette, Man, Acts, the 16th chapter. Acts, the 16th chapter. All right, Acts 16, 16, 16 to 17. And it says, and it occurred that as we were going to the house of prayer, a certain maid met us who had a spirit of divine nation and who procured for, procured for her, her master, for her Lord, great gain by divine nation which she performed. So that was her job right there. She had a spirit of divine nation and stuff. And so that's the thing she was making her money. That was her hustle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? And um, so we see she was the fortune teller giving fortunes and stuff. And getting what? It says great gain. She making some good money. Mm -hmm. Getting off like a fat rat. And then it says, then she followed her after Paul. See, now she she messing with the wrong people now. That that right there, her divine, her the that spirit of divine nation. He knew who Paul was, 
but he was trying to aggravate Paul, but he didn't, he didn't know what he was getting into. It says, see, they, they know, even when they you they know who you are, and they know who's serving you or not serving you. But this but this time, that spirit fell, you know, cocky, this, this one. And it says, then she followed after Paul and us, everybody else, and cried saying, these men are the servants of the Most High, Elohim. See, she knew who they were. That spirit knew who it was. And it says, and they announced, and they announced to you the path of life. So she mocking them. That's what she was doing. She was mocking them, teasing them. 18, we're going to go to the 18th verse. It says, and this, and this she did many days. She did this for days, many days. You know, they was ignoring her. And she did it for many days. And Paul, and Shaul, who they call Paul, was indignant. All right, he was pissed off now. She done struck a nerve. She started knowing it when Yeah, uh-huh. He was letting it slide all them other days. And he, and he said to that spirit, I command you. I ain't asking you. He said, I command you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach that you come out of her. And it came out the same hour. Hmm. Hmm. So that's the power. Oh yeah, when you have that, when you um obedient, that's when you will fill you with that power. He said power. As a matter of fact, he said you'll do greater things than he did. So he had the power to command it. But you see the difference that they came, you know, that spirit came after after them. Messing with them. But the other man who got beat up, who ain't had no power, he went after the spirit. Nobody didn't give him charge. Nobody didn't told him to do that. He wanted to show off and go in and try to do his own thing. No, having no power. Spirit wasn't bothering him, but he wanted to be the man. So you see the difference and stuff. About picking your battles and stuff. And you see, Shaul and them, they were minding their business. For days, the spirit that was in that lady kept, you know, aggravating them and messing with them and this and that. And they was ignoring them and stuff. But that day came. And when he said enough was enough. So it just goes to show, you know, in our in this lesson, still going on with um, spiritism, showing that that we're not fighting against, you know, flesh and blood. That's what we see in front of us because they're being used by these spirits and stuff. But we have to take it to the next level of knowing how to fight back with these spirits when they do come come at you and stuff. And you got to recognize, you know, these these spirits. And when it is a spirit, you know, that, that's um, controlling these people and stuff. So we see, we have, and the thing about it, we have that, that ability and that power that you have given us and stuff. As long as we live in according to him. As long as we live in according to him. So that will end our um, Shabbat lesson for today. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah that we continue to read and study. The rest of it, continue to study the spiritism, you know, asking your hood to let you to be able to recognize, you know, that's why we, you definitely need to be filled with that, that ruach, that spirit of discernment to be able to know good and evil and stuff. So he's giving us the tools. He's giving us the power. He's giving us the that spiritual food that we need, you know, and all we got to do is just continue to be obedient. As long as you're in obedience, hey, ain't nothing going to be able to conquer you. Nothing whatsoever. So I say to all, shalom, shalom, and a hubba top.